Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you from the WorkSharp booth here at Blade Show 2022. We're here with Kyle. How are you, sir? David, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Well, we're here today because we've got some stuff to uh, kind of show you, kind of demo a little bit. WorkSharp, of course, if you're unfamiliar, is really pushing the boundaries in sharpening products. Good manual stuff, but also I think the bread and butter for you guys are your belt-based sharpening systems. Yep, you could say that. And make a lot of good stuff that works, and we've got some kitchen products yeah. we're gonna take a look at today. Definitely. Uh, I'll let you take it away. What do you want to show us? All right, um, well, let's start with kind of at the manual end, and then we'll work our way up to those belt sharpeners you mentioned earlier. So right here, Dave's holding our new pull-through knife sharpener. Um, as easy as can be. So if you've got the, uh, your mom wants a new knife sharpener, you're like, I don't want to get her something that's overcomplicated. I want to make it as simple as possible on her and, or whoever. You want to make mm -hmm. it easy, easy peasy. You can't get easier than this. So what you're going to do is there's a diamond skew wheel on one side and all you do is roll the knife back and forth through mm -hmm. that skew wheel. Mm -hmm. And then it moves over to a ceramic wheel to refine it. And that's a great way to maintain a nice sharp knife yeah. and even put a new edge on it. So it's very different from like the carbide style sharp. Right. It rips off a lot of metal. This is a little more subtle. Right. So it's, it's an offset wheel and it is. It's a lot gentler on your knives. Um, we've actually taken pictures of the edge that, that produces under our digital microscope. It's actually a pretty impressive edge that it, it produced. Like, I, uniform, even in a way that like you might see on like a rod and clamp system, like our mm -hmm. precision adjust, I, I was blown away by it. So it's a, it's a great, simple, easy way to keep a knives, your kitchen knives nice and sharp. So, Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Moving over here, we've got our um, honing rod. Do you want to hang on to that bad boy? I can boy? do that. <laughs> so what's nice about this one, actually I'll do a quick demonstration on it, is, is, is you hold it like this, it's got a rubber rubber tip on it so it keeps it from one yeah. side around so not the same way that people see in the movies where you're up in the air doing i mean you all can this. do it that way if you know what you're doing mm -hmm. then those guys typically know what yeah. they're doing but yeah. most of us have no idea where to hold our knife so that's where these angle guides come in yes sir you hold it on the angle guide and run it down and it gives you a nice consistent way to hone your knife so this is something you do regularly this isn't necessarily sharpening i mean ceramic does remove a small amount of material but mostly this is just to tune your knives up mm -hmm. so this is something you do in between you know, meals or when you get ready to start using your chef's knives, but actually know what you're doing rather than right. swinging at the thing, I have right. no idea. Which is fun. It is. But <laughs> It looks cool. You look a lot better doing it. And you can even use that angle guide <laughs> this way and still, you know, impress your friends when they come over and looking like you know what you're doing. So. Uh, moving up, we've got the new kitchen electric sharpener here. So the way this one works, it uses flexible discs. So that's a little different than what we normally would use mm -hmm. on our belts sharpening system these discs actually flex it still creates a um, a convex edge but what's nice about these two is they're reversible so you can use them on one side flip them around and get more life out of them cool it's gentle on knives so you sharpen with the discs and you actually hold your knife a little different than most of if you're used to our sharpeners you're usually holding that out at this angle this one you hold at this angle and it puts a 17 degree on okay. as you pull through and you run it um, and it'll actually shut off at a, at a point that it's done. And then you have a, again, a ceramic skew wheel in here for maintenance. Um, and you can actually, in between sharpenings, if you don't have the ceramic rod, that it's ceramic that skew guy. wheel mm -hmm. will put an edge back on your knife as well. Very so nice. then we have the professional electric sharpener here. This is a, the belt system that you're, you're probably more familiar with when it comes to work sharp. What's new about this one is it uses a time sharpening cycle. So when I turn it on, to use it, I can click it once for refine. I can click it twice for sharpen. Or if my knife needs a lot of work, I click it three times. And that'll take us into shape. And so depending on the condition of your knife, so it's a speed thing, it changes the speed of the belt. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So whatever condition your knife is, if you just want to touch it up, just click it once. And then you're just going to alternate strokes really gentle on knives you can barely hear it's even on mm -hmm. and you just hold against those angle guides and pull through great for high-end knives there's leather line guides on the side so it's gentle it's on not blade gonna faces up, nope. not going to scratch anything up you may, may have to clean that a little bit every once in a while once for in a while shavings yep. Or, yep. yep that's yep. about it but so a you, lot lot less destructive yep. than something hard exactly mm -hmm. you just kind of go through and then it'll eventually turn itself off here and then once it's you know, I'll let it stop there. 
The other thing about those leather line guides is they're easy to replace. They can come off. Mm -hmm. We set our angle guides at 17 degrees from the factory. You can also get these in 15 degrees for Eastern style, like mm -hmm. shoes. And then you can go out to 20 degrees for like a Western style, like typical style German thing. style knives. Exactly. Yeah. But exactly. the 17, if Seven. you're going to go with one, it'll work on, on either style. It's kind of a good in between. Ha happy medium. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Exactly. So that's, that's kind of the point there. So yeah, that's, that's, a bit of the lineup. There's a few others that you can check out on our website, but those are the ones that we're most excited mm -hmm. about coming out. What I like about these, like with the time cycle especially, is the ease of use. Yeah. Um, I've, I've recommended some of your kitchen units to folks that aren't knife people, aren't knife sharpening geeks. Right. Because they're looking for something, and to me this is one of the ways to get such good results without being super destructive on your knife and to get those results at the same time. Yeah, it's just, we try to take the guesswork out of mm -hmm. knife sharpening, try to tear down that mystique that can come along with trying to figure out how to be good at knife sharpening. This way, the guides are in place. We try to make it as easy as possible. If you can just pull your knife through, you can sharpen any knife. So. And maybe we'll turn them into sharpening geeks. Oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's some really nice stuff. Uh, most of this already is available at the Knife Center. If it's not, I think all of it is, but if it's not, it should be soon. Yep. We'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below to take you over to our Work Sharp page at KnifeCenter.com. And in the meantime, keep watching our great Blade Show coverage. Kyle. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. I do. Appreciate your time. Appreciate it.